Hi Sheiksers, hope your day is going well, that you guys are all staying sanitary and safe. Now if you're new here, hi, my name is Chi Chi and on this channel we cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if that's something you're interested in, then you're in the right place. Keep on watching. So today's video is going to be the first of its kind for my channel for so many reasons. So I did something completely different. I enlisted one of my blogger boos from around the way, Elle from Hey mishi.com she just relaunched her blog so i'm gonna put a link to her blog down below definitely go check out her blog and um you know show her all the sport let her know supple she sent you so she basically let me play in her closet like and you know put together looks so l has a different body type from me so I thought it'd be something a little different and a little bit more exciting but curious about you know what works best for your body and how to figure that out then this video is for you so stay tuned because we're going to look through Elle's closet put together looks and I'm gonna tell you why each look works why each look doesn't and at the end I'm gonna make some recommendations so without further ado let's jump into this video so Elle is 5'8", around 200 pounds. She has slender legs and slender arms. She has an average bust for her body and a flat bottom. She carries the most of her weight around her midsection. So for the first look, we're gonna start off with this two-piece zebra print set. So Elle absolutely loved this set, but she was struggling with how to make it really work for her body type. The top is very blousy and very big, which being that she carries so much of her weight around her core, kind of emphasized that, while the skirt was very slim and very slender. So what I told Elle was that if I were to order this set again, I would have sized up in the skirt and probably sized down in the sweater to you know, make it a little bit more fitted. So the first thing that we did with this set was that I got Elle to tuck the, the, the sweater into the skirt. Now this is important because there was so much volume up top and we were trying to minimize the volume up top. We were trying to balance the top with the bottom. By tucking in the sweater up top, we were able to add a little bit more fullness around her hip area um, and kind of take down her waist. Now the next thing that we did was we added a belt and in this case added a belt bag. And so for me it was important to find the midpoint of her belly and cinch it in there and that is what we did. And I love the idea of using a belt bag because a way to balance and also conceal. So when you look at Elle and you look at this outfit and you look at her midsection, you are focusing on the detail on the bag and less on, you know, the width of her belly. L has she has really nice long legs so I figured why not make her make those legs and make her appear even taller and even leaner I made her throw on a pair of heeled combat style boots the boots also have like a white trim around the bottom again this adds a little bit of interest in that area it draws the eye towards the feet um, this was a solid colored set. I would have been like, this is a no. But because the set also was printed, it added another layer of being able to kind of like de-emphasize all those areas. Because what you notice when you look at her is the print, is the belt, is the shoes. You don't notice the width of her midsection. And so I think this outfit, we were really able to take it from something that was kind of matronly looking and by making a few tweaks, we made it very fresh and very now and perfect for Elle. I wanna thank you all so, so, so much for all the great feedback you left for me in my last video. The fact that you guys still care to engage with my content and watch my videos, you know, 
there's so much chaos going on in the world right now. There's so many things pulling our attention, so many things distracting us. And the fact that you take the time to come back to this channel um, and watch my videos and leave great comments and leave great feedback really means the world to me. So for this look, it was all about this gorgeous, gold colored skirt. If you are not a stranger to my channel, you know that I actually have this skirt. Elle said she, like, she's been struggling to put an outfit together with the skirt and I could see why. On its own, it kind of emphasized the imbalance between, you know, Elle's midsection and her lower body. So my chief task for this look was to help her create a look that still allowed her to balance her upper and lower body. So the first thing we did, of course, was to tuck in that shirt because we're trying to balance out the top from the bottom and we're trying to make the top appear as slim and slender as possible. If you saw my how to look better video, you know that's like my number one rule. And I talk about in that in that video how the perfect tuck is different for everyone. So after tucking in the shirt, the next thing we did was to throw on a biker jacket. Now, when you are wider around the midsection, that means you're more horizontal around the midsection, you want to create vertical lines. I talked about this in How to Style Yourself Slimmer. So this biker jacket was perfect for Elle because it was somewhat cropped, but it also had a built-in shape and really helped us to create that vertical line to make the midsection area appear smaller. Um, again, going back to ABCs, we are trying to accentuate every area but the midsection. So in order to do that for this look, I had Elle throw on this, you know, African ethnic printed beaded necklace. Again, it's something interesting. When somebody meets you, they're going to notice that necklace. They're also going to notice the, you know, the slogan on the shirt that says, I slay. You know, all this is going to, again, draw the eyes away from the area we're trying to camouflage, which is the midsection. How do you guys feel about the look we put together? Do you feel like it's something you would wear as someone who carries weight around your midsection? Do you think that this, the look was able to adequately um, de-emphasize that area? I would love to know your thoughts. Before we proceed any further, I definitely want to mention this and say this. It goes without saying, but I think I should say that all bodies are beautiful. Now society kind of trains us to see certain body types as better than others, but every single body type has things to love. We all have things that we can accentuate, things that we can show off, and we all have things that we would prefer to conceal, to be quite honest. It's so important to learn to love your body as it is to learn to love what you're working with, to learn to work with what you're working with, and to learn to find your confidence in what you've got. No matter what kind of body type you have, there is someone out there that wishes they had something you have. For example, if you have a fuller bust, but you know, carry a little bit of weight, trust me, that girl that has wider hips and very small boobs, she wishes she had your boobs. You know, there's always going to be pros and cons to everybody's body. Now, if you have a similar body type to L, finding the right pair of jeans is so tricky. Um, you know, I feel like most retailers really create clothes for, you know, that perfect hourglass shape. And very few retailers really think about like the rest of us who are either really heavy on the bottom or really slender on the bottom. They assume that, you know, everyone has that perfect waist to hip ratio and that is not true. So if you have L's body type where you carry most of your weight around the midsection and your hips tend to be a lot more slender, your butt is a little flat, then the best thing I can recommend for you is to look for jeans that have volume built in. So that will be your boyfriend jeans, even though I don't know if boyfriend jeans are like 
that much in style anymore but i still recommend them for your body type um you want to look for jeans that have that kind of looser cut because it'll add a little bit of volume around the hips for you and will really help to de-emphasize you know the discrepancies or the imbalance between your you know midsection and your hips we just grabbed a t-shirt l loves her t-shirts he has a nice collection of graphic tees so we grabbed this t-shirt we tucked it into these boyfriend jeans again they have some distressing around the ink uh, around the knee so that detail will pull your eyes you know towards the knee and away from her midsection and her hips and then we threw on a biker jacket in the wonderful green color again the biker jackets have some built-in shape typically they will come in a little bit at the waist and in this case it really helps us to create that vertical line the graphic tee has some print in front around the decolletage area which draws the eyes upwards you know the color is also super rich you know so that's something that people will notice first and then to finish things off to really highlight l and make her look a pair longer and leaner we pair the look with wedges here are a few things I recommend if you have a similar body type. Wide leg pants, cropped or long. Jackets, blazers, vests, since we're going into spring and summer. A sleeveless vest is a must have. Kimonos, again, to create that long vertical line. And skorts, because they tend to be cut in an A-line fashion, but help to show off your legs. I hope from this video that you've taken away how important it is to know your body type. I think in your journey to mastering and really improving and leveling up your personal style, one of the first things, one of the foundational things you have to know is what works for you. If you like this video, make sure to share it with a friend. I'm sure you know someone who would find the information that I shared in this video useful. So if you're looking for more videos to help you improve your personal style, check out this video. If you're looking for more outfits, tips and tricks, then check out this video. Also, um, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed.